Classic, timeless, and universally admired. Leave it to Mother Nature to engineer something so beautiful that it has become one of the longest lasting obsessions in the history of human culture. Their delicate blooms curve gracefully, flourish with color, and fill the air with a fragrance so sweet that it elevates the senses into a state of bliss. For centuries, they have inspired artists, philosophers, and poets. And no matter how far technology may take us into the future, our love affair with these elegant life forms will always remain. For photographers, the affection goes even deeper. Because no matter how hard we may try, we always find ourselves coming back to revisit our most loyal subjects. The camera simply cannot resist the magic of flowers. So with the coronavirus out there wreaking havoc, photographers all across the world are stuck at home, caged like wild animals with nothing but crappy macro projects and flowers to shoot. If only there was something else, something groundbreaking, something amazing that we could shoot from home. I'll go get the macro lens. Home sweet home. The sun is up, the wind is calm, and the fridge has plenty of beer. With all the elements in place, it's time to get to work. Long story short, we're going to build a small reflecting pool in the backyard. Thankfully, this is not rocket science, because if it was, I would be in serious trouble. Creating our little pond is actually quite easy. A plastic kiddie pool, a garden hose, a light stand, and a bed sheet will do the trick. There's no right or wrong way to set all this up though I would not recommend working indoors. Considering the colossal amount of water that somehow manages to find its way outside of the pool, you're much better off building this type of contraption in the backyard. As long as there have been cameras, there have been pictures of flowers. Chances are these little floral gems have wound up in your photographic crosshairs a time or two, and this makes perfect sense when you think about it. Flowers are very pretty, they like to sit perfectly still, and they don't mind having their picture taken. If only portrait photographers had it this easy. But I digress. The point is, no matter which discipline of photography you may practice, be it sports, portraits, or landscapes, chances are pretty good that you've found yourself peering through the lens at some type of flower along the way. And this brings us to a bit of a crossroads. Now, before we go any further, we have to ask one very important question. Does the world really need more pictures of flowers? I mean, aside from the obligatory selfie, flowers are probably the most photographed subject on the planet. In fact, if you go to any stock photography site, they'll straight up tell you, sorry, please do not upload any more flowers. We're full up, thanks. So, does the world really need more pictures of flowers? The answer is yes, but under one very specific set of conditions, that they be unique and original. And that is why I'm so excited to show you this next project. It has long been said that there are no more original ideas, only copies of old ideas. Certainly, flowers are no exception. Photography's exhaustive obsession with these colorful blooms has left no petal unturned, which means that flowers have been covered in every imaginable way. Or have they? Originality may not be as elusive as we think. Before we throw in the towel, let's turn to nature for a moment. As a landscape photographer, I constantly find myself gravitating to the water's edge. Here, thanks to a handy reflection, one is likely to get two images for the price of one. Reality rises up into the sky as a surreal mirror world shimmers down below. Reflections give us that elusive symmetry which we so rarely see in the landscape photography field. And this teaches us one very valuable lesson. Water changes everything. Now, imagine if we could create this very phenomenon right here at home. This might just open up a whole new world of possibilities. That ever so pesky search for originality may actually be within our grasp. And so, with coronavirus taking the outside world by storm, 
this might just be the perfect time to create something that is truly special right in your own backyard. in there and now with our flower reflection production facility in full swing it's time to get behind the camera and finally scratch that photography itch with an endless variety of flowers to choose from this little pond is enough to keep a person busy for days thankfully your local grocery store is still considered an essential business so turn left past the tomatoes take a trip to the flower aisle and you should have plenty of material to get your hands wet in conclusion Totally original way to capture the most photographed subject in the history of photography? Maybe. Groundbreaking new technique that will send a surge of creativity across the planet? Probably not. Portfolio images that will take the entire photography industry by storm? Not really. Great way to spend the day in self-quarantine? Ah, now we're onto something. Because the answer here is most definitely yes. Coronavirus may have shut down the travel agenda, but it will never be able to shut down the imagination. All right, friends, as always, thank you so much for joining us. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. We got a lot of cool new content coming up. I know it's tough staying at home, but we all got to do our part. So stay creative and always remember, the camera will take you places you never imagined, even if it is your own backyard. You gonna help with the project? Hmm? With the COVID-19 virus keeping thousands of photographers quarantined all across the nation, it's time to stay at home. Fortunately, I actually have no idea what I'm supposed to say at this point. You gonna stay on guard, make sure no squirrels get us? I mean, it's important. <laughs>